Reading from the Hallelujah Scriptures, Lucas, Luke, part 19. And having entered, he was passing through Jericho, and see a man called Zacchae, and he was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he was seeking to see who Yeshua was, but was unable because of the crowd. For he was small in stature, and having run ahead, he climbed upon up into a sycamore tree to see him, because he was about to pass by. And as Yeshua came to the place, he looked up and saw him, and said to him, Zakai, hurry and come down, for I have to stay at your house today. And he hurried and came down, and received him rejoicing. And seeing it, they all grumbled, saying, He has gone into stay with a man who is a sinner. But Zakai stood up and said to the Adon, Look, Adonai, I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have taken whatever from anyone by false accusation, I repay fourfold. And Yeshua said to him, Today deliverance has come to this house, since he also is a son of Avraham. And the bane of Adam has come to seek and to save what was lost. As they were hearing this, he spoke another parable, because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought the reign of Elohim was about to be manifested straight away. He therefore said, A certain nobleman went to a distant country to receive for himself a rain and to return, and calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten minars, and said to them, Trade until I come. But his subjects were hating him, and sent a delegation after him to say, We do not want this one to reign over us. And it came to be when he came back, having received the rain, that he sent for these servants to whom he had given the silver in order to know what each had gained by trading. And the first came saying, Master, your minar has earned ten minars. And he said to him, Well done, good servant. Because you were trustworthy in very little, have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Master, your minar has earned five minars. And he said to him also, And you be over five cities. And another came, saying, Master, here is your minar, which I kept laid up in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a hard man. You take up what you do not lay down, and reap what you do not sow. And he said to him, Out of your own mouth I shall judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a hard man, taking up what I do did not lay down, and reaping what I did not sow. Why did you not put the silver in the bank, that when I come I could have collected it with interest? Then he said to those who stood by, Take the minar from him and give it to him who possesses ten minars. But they said to him, Master, he possesses ten minars. For I say to you, that to everyone who possesses shall be given, and from him who does not possess, even what he possesses shall be taken away from him. But those enemies of mine, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here, and slay them before me. And having said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. And it came to be when he came near to Baith Fahi and Baith Anyar at the mountain of Olives, that he sent two of his Talmudim, saying, Go into the village opposite you, in which, as you enter, you shall find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat, loosen it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why do you loosen it? 
Thus you should, you shall say to him, because the Adon has need of it. And those who were sent went away and found it, as he had said to them. And as they were loosening the colt, the owners of it said to them, Why do you loosen the colt? And they said, The Adon needs it. So they brought it to Yeshua, and throwing their garments on the colt, they put Yeshua on it. And as he went, they were spreading their garments on the way. And as he was coming near, already at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the entire crowd of the Talmudim began to praise Elohim, rejoicing with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen, saying, Baruch is the sovereign who is coming in the name of Yahuwah, Peace in the Shamayim and esteem in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your Talmudim. But he answering said to them, I say to you, that if these shall be silent, the stones would cry out. And as he came near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you only knew even today these for your peace. But now they are hidden from your eyes, because days shall come upon you when your enemies shall build a rampart around you and surround you and press you on all sides and dash you to the ground and your children within you. And they shall not leave in you one stone upon another because you did not know the time of your visitation. And having entered into the Mikdash, he began to drive out those selling and buying in it, saying to them, It has been written, My house is a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the Mikdash. But the chief Kohenim and the scribes and the leaders of the peoples were seeking to destroy him. But they did not find what they might do. For all the people were hanging upon him, listening. Amen.